In Unit 5, we will familiarize ourselves with the academic principle of comparability. This unit is divided into two sections. Section 1. Status quo of discipline. The principle of comparability implies obeying the status quo of the relevant academic discipline. Only in very rare cases, groundbreaking theoretical findings will be generated in the context of research projects. The theoretical foundation of academic research papers should be based as far as possible upon the status quo of the relevant discipline. If you apply the status quo of your discipline, you will comply with the principle of comparability. Any departures from prevailing views are quite possible and, if reasonable, favored. But it is compulsory to give reasons for your deviations and to explain them in detail. However, if you explain deviations, you will again comply with the principle of comparability. If you do not explain deviations, you will not comply with the principle of comparability. Section 2. Explanation of deviations in the previous section, it was stated that deviations from the status quo of a discipline are possible but have to be explained. This leaves the question under which circumstances deviations are possible or might be expected. This can be explained with a graphic that shows the idealized positioning of academic research projects. The y-axis states the expectancy of deviations of an academic research project. The x-axis states the level of sophistication of an academic research project. Simplifying, one could say that the room for deviations increases from simple student assignments and term papers to bachelor's thesis and master's thesis projects to doctoral thesis and postdoctoral research projects. 